Okay, question number eight from C2, June 2012, the GCE paper, um, applications of differentiation here. A manufacturer produces pain relieving tablets. Each tablet is in the shape of a solid circular cylinder with a base X centimeters and a, and a height H millimeters as shown in figure three. Given that the volume of each tablet has to be 60 millimeters cubed, express H in terms of X. Now the volume of a cylinder, which is something that you should know, is pi times r squared times h. It's like the area of the cross section. Okay, cylinder is a type of prism which has a constant cross section. So it's the area of the base, which is a which is a circle, pi r squared, times how high it is. So pi r squared h. In this case, your r, the radius, is equal to x. So you can say the volume is equal to pi times x squared times h. Okay, so let me just write that over here. Since I can see what's going on there. So you got the volume is pi r squared h, and we know that the radius is equal to x. So the volume is going to be pi times x squared times h. Now they've told us that the volume is 60 millimeters cubed. Okay, so the volume is 60. So I can put 60 is equal to pi times x squared times h. Now it's telling us to express h in terms of x. So you've got to make h the subject of this formula. So h is going to be 60 divided by pi x squared. So that's what they're looking for there. They're kind of helping us for the other part of the question. Okay, now part B says, show that the surface area of a tablet is given by a equals two pi x squared plus 120 over x. So again, we need to know what the surface area of a cylinder is. Okay, and um, I'm not sure if this is given to you in the formula book. Um, I don't think it is, but you should know the surface area and volume of cylinders. Okay, so the surface area of a cylinder, if it's a solid cylinder, is made up of the two, the base, and the top and the base of it. And then you've got this cylinder part, this curved part, which actually forms like a rectangle if you open it up. Okay, so this is the height, and this is the circumference, which is 2 pi r. So the surface area of a cylinder is given by 2 times pi r squared. That's the area of the base and the lid or the top and the base of the pill together plus uh, 2 pi r h, 2 pi r h. Okay, so the area, the surface area is given by, now remember our radius is x, so you've got 2 pi x squared Okay, plus, and you got two pi r times h. So two times pi, now remember r is x, and the height is given by 60 over pi x squared. So they kind of helped us out in this question by making us find h in terms of x in the beginning. Sometimes they don't tell you that. Okay, so we can say now that the area is equal to, now here what's gonna happen is the pi is gonna cancel with the pi. This x is gonna cancel with this x, leaving you one x underneath. So you're left with 2 pi x squared, and you're left with 2 times um, 60, which is 120, over x, which is exactly what we had to show. Okay, uh, now it says the manufacturer needs to minimize the surface area A of a tablet. Use calculus to find the value of x, for which A is a minimum. So even if you couldn't do even part A and B, you can use what they told us the area is, and we can just basically... We want to find when the area is a minimum. So the area is going to be a minimum. Okay, now whenever you see the word minimum or maximum, you know it's got something to do with um, the turning point of a curve. So we're going to basically find the, the, the turning point, point of this curve where it reaches its minimum. That's when its gradient is zero. So if we find dA dx, okay, and we find when that's equal to zero, okay, that's when it's going to be a minimum. Okay, when the gradient of that is zero because the curve comes down. All right, when the gradient is zero, it reaches its minimum point. So we've got to find first what dA dx is first. Let's get this ready for differentiation. So you've got 2 pi x squared plus 120 x to the power of minus 1. So d, dA dx is going to be, so you've got to multiply by the power, so that's 4 pi x x and take one away from the power so it's the power of one uh, multiply by the power so you got minus 120 
x to the power of, and you take 1 from the power to the power of minus 2. So we can say that when dx, dA dx equals 0, you're going to have 4 times pi times x minus 120 over x squared. That's what that simplifies to, is equal to 0. So we can multiply everything by x squared to get rid of this. So you've got 4 pi x cubed minus 120 is equal to 0. So we can say that 4 pi x cubed is equal to 120. So we'll have x cubed is equal to 120 over 4 pi. So x is going to be the cube root of 120 over 4 pi. Okay, so we'll find out what that is. The cube root of 120 over 4 pi. And that gives us 2.1215, 2.1215, So we can say that's equal to 2.12 centimeters, uh, sorry, millimeters, it's a small tablet. Okay, correct to 3SF. Okay. Okay, so now for part D. Uh, we want to calculate the minimum value of a giving your answer to the nearest integer okay so this is um, the value of this is a and we worked out in the previous part of the question that the value of x which gives a minimum value is going to be the cube root of um, 120 over 4 pi which was that 2.12 just confirm that it was 120 over 4 pi cube rooted. Okay, so what we have to do now is to just substitute that instead of the x here. So we have 2 times pi times this, which is the cube root of 120 over 4 pi. But we have to square that because x squared plus 120 divided by this value of the cube root of 120 over 4 pi. Okay, so now what we have, we have this already saved in our calculator. So we're going to have 2 times pi um, times, and we're going to have this, which is saved as um, a, but I've got to square that. Okay, um, that's that. 2 pi times a squared. Okay, let me just write this in, in this better way, times a squared, okay, plus, and then I have my fraction, 120 over just a. Okay, and that gives me 84.84. Okay, 84.84, so that's 84.84. Four dot dot centimeters oh sorry millimeters squared is in millimeters but we want the answer to the nearest integer integer so that's going to be 85 millimeters squared the nearest integer okay the whole number so not 3sf here and then part e says show that this value of a is a minimum okay so what i need is uh, my expression for the differential i need to, to to show that justify it's a minimum or a maximum i need to take the second differential so I'm going to take my first differential, which I already have over here. Okay, I've actually got it copied already. Okay, so I'll just paste that over here. Okay, so paste. Whoops, what happened there? Uh, let's just take this. Um, edit, copy, and paste. There we are. Okay, so this is the first differential. This is the first differential. So what I've got to do is, where's it gone? It's weird. There it is. Why did it go up there? Okay, so this is the first differential. I've got to now find the second differential. Okay, so the second differential is d squared a over dx squared. And I'm going to see what value when I put in x equals the cube root of 120 over 4 pi, okay, which is the value of x for which it's a minimum. When I put that value inside the second differential, 
what happens. So first we've got to find what this is. So this is going to be 4 pi. I have to multiply by the power. So we're going to have plus 240 x to the power of minus 3. So this is the same as saying that's 4 pi plus 240 over x cubed. Okay, so that's 4 pi plus 240 over all of this cubed. So that's 120 over 4 pi. Okay, because you're going to cube that. When you cube that, the cube root disappears. So you're going to end up with 4 pi, and that's going to give you 2 times 8, 8 pi. That gives you 12 pi. Okay, which it doesn't matter actually what the value is because as long as it's positive. So as d squared a over dx squared is greater than zero, therefore this x value gives a minimum. That's how you justify it. If it was less than zero, it would give a maximum. Okay, I hope you can read my writing there. Okay, so there we have that, that question answered.